I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis and welcome to my greenhouse. Now, it may not look very green right now, but up until a couple of weeks ago, there wasn't even a lick of green out here because we only recently started supplying gray water in here to start growing plants. And prior to that time, it was nothing but brown and dry, 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 dusty. And that's what I wanna talk about in this video is dust and filtering out of your air. Now, next to me is an air filter. And in this video, I wanna provide you guys with a review of this one, which is made by Membrane Solutions. Now, normally when I do a product review here on my channel, it's for some type of an item that I've bought myself with my own money and I've used it for a while and I either have positive things to say about it, negative things to say about it, or, you know, more commonly, I have kind of a mix of the two that I'd like to, you know, share with you guys here. The good parts, here are the bad parts. This is going to be a little bit different because I did not buy this with my own money. I was approached by the company. Uh, they sent me this for free to try out, to share my thoughts with you guys. Now, normally I'm a little reluctant when I get approached by companies, uh, you know, for several reasons. One is oftentimes I have no interest in the product. Sometimes I feel like you guys don't have any interest in the product, so I can't promise them that I'm gonna do a review and then share something with you guys that you guys probably aren't even interested in. Uh, but beyond that, there always feels like there's a little bit of a conflict of interest in terms of, you know, someone sends you something for free and then it's like, what, are you gonna badmouth them or whatever? So I always feel a little bit uncomfortable with that, so I don't usually do it, but I jumped on board with this because of something very particular about this unit, which is different from other air filter units that I've used in the past, and I have used a a lot of air filter units in the past, you know, both during like the pandemic and, you know, when I'm working here around the house, if I'm creating a lot of sawdust, certainly during construction, I was running uh, these types of units. There's all sorts of circumstances where I'm using an air uh, filtration unit. And uh, one uh, common aspect to all the air filtration units that I've used in the past is that they're all very, very expensive. I, at least I felt like they're kind of expensive. And the difference with this is that it is about one third of the price of a lot of the units that I've used in the past. So I agreed to review it because I was thinking, well, you know, if this is as good as some of the other things that I've worked with in the past, I bet a lot of you guys would like to know about a lower cost option. And so far, I feel pretty positive about this. It's made by Membrane Solutions. And to be honest, I don't really have anything at all negative negative to say about it. Now that said, what is an air filtering unit? Uh, it is a, a filter and I'll show you it right here as we pop it open. It has a, a filter right in the front here. And this is really, this is the lifeblood of your air filtering unit. All the rest of this stuff is essentially just a glorified fan. And you can see the fan right in there. But this here, the, the air filter, uh, you know, cartridge that you are gonna be putting into your unit. This is where the real filtering happens. All the rest of this stuff is just to apply a negative pressure to one side to force air to go through it. And then you get all these little, you know, bells and whistles for, you know, you know turning it on and you know, all sorts of other stuff, which, uh, you know, clearly I don't have a lot of uh, excitement about because this is where the real action happens. Now, the air filter that comes with it, it's a nice HEPA filter. Uh, it's got some uh, charcoal, uh, you know, for uh, getting rid of VOCs uh, on the back. So this is a pretty good uh, filter that comes with it. But what an air filter essentially is, one of these units, is something that sucks air through this. This part of it here is just the part that you interact with. This is the thing that's actually doing the work. So when it comes to air filters, I don't tend to get super, super excited about them because all they are is just really a glorified fan. Um, so there's not really anything negative that I can say about it because it does its job. You have the filter, which does the filtering, which I just put back in, and then you apply negative pressure to one side of it and it draws the air through and it pushes it through. Now it does have some features on the top that I'm gonna talk about a little bit, but, um, you know, I don't get, I don't tend to get super excited about those because again, it's just essentially a fan that sucks air through one of those filters. Now that said, you could make your own, uh, you know, air purifying system by uh, buying one of those replacement filters. You could make like a little uh, cardboard box kind of a holder for it. You could put a, uh, you know, like a box fan or, or, you know, any kind of like a, like a venting fan device. You could, you know, attach one to one side, kind of duct tape it on there and just run the fan. And that's going to uh, filter the air just as good as any of these other filters, because essentially what you're just trying to do is get air to move through that kind of filter cartridge. And if you have a good filter cartridge, it doesn't really matter what the fan is that's pulling it through. As long as the fan's strong enough, uh, you know, all the rest of this stuff is just kind of convenient sort of items. So, you know, 
it works great uh, because the fan functions, it brings the air through. It can, uh, this particular filter can uh, filter down to about one third of a micron. It, you know, it's good for, uh, uh, you know, dust, certainly in you know, like cat dander, the shedding that comes off of pets, you know, it's good for all sorts of dust, you know, pollen, you know, things that might uh, cause you issues with allergies. You know, if you, you know, we're entering into wildfire season and, you know, if there's a wildfire near your house and some of that sooty air is getting into your house, this will work to filter the, uh, that out of there. You know, they, they talk about how it's good for viruses uh, and that's kind of a yes and no kind of thing. It uh, can filter out the the globules of viruses usually if somebody's coughing and there's like a you know, uh, like an aerosolized spray coming out of their, uh, their, their mouth and their nose. Uh, you know, there are a lot of viruses in there. Now, the individual viruses aren't going to get filtered out by this, but generally speaking, a lot of the viruses are, uh, you know, attached in bigger clumps, and a lot of that is going to get filtered out. And if you're looking to filter viruses out of your air, uh, it's really all a game of reduction. You know, the, the lower you can bring those levels down, you know, the less chance that one of those viruses is going to empty your system and happen to find its way onto a receptor site and then make you sick. So it's all about just kind of reducing. So it is going to reduce, uh, you know, virus load, but you know, an individual virus is never going to get stopped, uh, you know, going through this. But so it works really, really well. And the rest of it just comes down to these kind of convenience things. And let's talk a little bit about some of the convenience things that are on here. Uh, 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 over on the right here, it has the power button on and off. You know, that's easier than if you were to kind of DIY your own thing, because you know, it would come down to like pl plugging it and unplugging it to get it going. So you know, I I, I don't want to poo-poo all of these conveniences, but I just want to always remind you guys that you know you don't always have to buy a ready-made product to get the kind of service that you are looking to achieve for yourself you know you can usually get a lot of these things you know doing it in a DIY way but you know when you buy these kind of units you just make it more elegant it's nicer looking than having this kind of like MacGyvered ramshackle thing uh, kicking around your house uh, and it just makes it easier to use um, one thing that's uh, it, particularly interesting about this, I'm going to return to it at the end, is it has a Wi-Fi option. And I thought that was a little bit weird, a little bit different, uh, you know, so we're going to talk about that, uh, you know, towards the end of this. Uh, but some of these other features that it has here, it has timer features, so it can go on for a certain amount of time. It has three different fan speeds. Uh, when I was running the filter in here when it was very, very dusty. I just put it on the highest setting and within five minutes, the entire area uh, was totally cleaned out. And this is about, um, I think it's about 400 square feet in this space, but it's super high. It's like two stories high. So it's like kind of like, 800 square feet worth of space because when people talk about uh, you know square footage they're assuming eight foot ceilings and we have you know two two, sto uh, two stories worth of ceilings in here so it, it cleared out about 800 square feet equivalent of space in just about five minutes at the top speed so that works really really well interestingly it has an air quality monitor so it is uh, monitoring the air as it comes through now that is one of those kind of added fe features that you get when you buy a unit like this as opposed to kind of DIYing yourself uh, I suppose uh, to some degree, you know, we all have kind of a air sensing uh, feature in our in ourselves. If you're in a room, you kind of know whether it's dusty, you know, the air might look dusty or you can kind of smell it uh, in your nose or, or feel it in your lungs. So this thing is kind of uh, doing something which I feel is a little bit on the redundant side because I, I feel like, you know, if you're going into a space, you know, you as a living organism can, uh, automatically kind of infer, you know, what, what the air quality is in there, but it can use the air quality uh, to uh, ramp up or down the fan speed, which I think is kind of interesting. So if you were going to place this in an environment where there's maybe intermittent issues, where occasionally uh, you might want more filtering than at other times, this thing can auto adjust so that it is ramping up that fan speed if it suddenly gets dirtier in there. Uh, it also has a timer, which uh, lets you know when your filter needs to re be replaced. Uh, this is just based on hours, as far as I can tell. So, uh, you know, it, it's one of those things where like, if the filter's running in an environment that's constantly a lot dirtier uh, than another environment, you know, th this filter time is going to, you know, maybe may be a little bit off because if you run this for, I, I forget exactly how many hours it is before it's gonna tell you to replace the thing. But if you run, let's say, say for example, it's a thousand hours, it's way more than a thousand hours, hours. But let's just say it's like a thousand hours. If you're running this for a thousand hours in an environment that's already really pristine, you know, the filter's not gonna really get clogged up with very much and it'll be good for a lot more time. But if you run it for the same amount of time in like, let, let's say like you're outdoors at a construction site in like the middle of the desert and there's, uh, you know, a, you know uh, dust everywhere, this thing is going to get choked up a lot more quickly. So I don't really tend to get uh, all that um, dependent on those types of things. You really have to use your brain a little bit and, you know, kind of get a sense of, uh, you know, 
you know, how quickly the air is moving through and, you know, you know what sort of environment you've been using it with. Uh, but it, do, it does have that. If you're in like what you would consider like an average environment, I would assume this is kind of like pegged towards like kind of that average. Um, now, I mentioned at the end, uh, there is a uh, Wi-Fi uh, option on here. Now, that's not something that I'm personally interested in using uh, here at my place. I tend to try to keep all my electronics as dumb as I possibly can. I try to keep my smartphone dumb. I try to keep all my, uh, you know, computers as much as I can. I like to keep them air gap from the outside. Uh, you know, I like to have that kind of separation. So I'm not interested in bringing lots of different uh, electronics into my uh, home and having them all chit chatting and talking with each other. You know, th that's just, uh, that's not my thing. I know that's not a lot of you guys' thing, but if it is your thing and you want to be able to control this thing remotely, and let's say, you know, you, you live somewhere in the Midwest United States and you're on a business trip to China and you get to China and you realize, oh no, I wanted to leave my air filter on, but I didn't. I, it's, it's kind of a preposterous uh, sort of scenario. I don't know why you would want to use a Wi-Fi, but uh, what it allows you to do is this thing can connect to the internet if you have a 2.4 gigahertz network in your house uh, and uh, you can control the thing remotely. Uh, again, I, I can't really wrap my mind around why you would want to do that. Like maybe if you're away from home and then you found out that there was like a wildfire that had broken out and like your pets at home and you're like, you know, oh crap, you know, I, I need to have the, the filter running a little higher. There, there are fairly limited num uh, numbers of scenarios where I can think that you would ever want to use that. But as a prepper, I guess it's good to be prepared for all sorts of scenarios, both the ones that we can imagine and the ones we can't imagine. So it just gives you another option. Like I mentioned, that's not something that I'm into because I like to keep my electronics really uh, kind of dumb. But that is a feature that uh, is, uh, I, it's something that I usually only see on really high-end, more expensive air filters. Uh, and it's available on this one. And again, like I said, this one is running at about a third of the price of you know a lot of the other air filters that I'm used to purchasing. So overall, I give this thing high marks. It does work. It's a third of the price of what I'm used to paying for other things. Uh, you know, it filters the air. Uh, you know, very. Uh, efficiently, it does it quickly. Uh, it has a lot of these other kind of uh, kinds of bells and whistles if you're into that kind of stuff. Uh, and I, I feel like it's a perfect replacement for things that cost three times as much. Again, this is made by Membrane Solutions, and uh, you know, just again for full disclosure, I did not buy this with my own money. So if you feel like I'm the kind of person that would be swayed by uh, getting a free gift, because it does feel a little bit awkward, someone gives you something for free and it's like, what, what are you gonna badmouth it? You know. So I told them, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest about it, and they seem like they were cool with that. And uh, I guess if they're not cool with that, you'll never get to see this video because I'm not going to reshoot this video and take out any of the negative things I said about it. But I don't think I actually said anything negative other than the fact that I think there's, there's some options on here that I think are unnecessary. But uh, given the fact that the thing is still really uh, inexpensively priced, you're kind of getting these options for free. So, you know, why would you complain about something that you don't need, but you really didn't pay much for it anyway? That's it. I hope you find this helpful as we go forward into the future. There are all sorts of reasons why you might want to have an air filter. If you are in a situation where there are wildfires, you can have smoke coming into your house. Once the smoke's in your house, what are you going to be wearing like respirators and N95 masks on you? It'd be nice to be able to clean out the air in your house. Uh, you know, it, you know, God forbid we are looking at the potential for like nuclear exchanges. If there is the potential that there is radioactive dust moving around in an area, it would be good to filter that stuff out. That's a whole other level of, uh, you know, complexity because then like the filter itself would become radioactive. You wouldn't want to go near it. But there are all sorts of reasons why you may want to take an environment that has something in the air that maybe you don't want there and be able to, in a controlled way, remove that stuff from the air. And this is a very cost effective and effective, effective way of doing it. And if you're interested in uh, ch checking one of these out that is a lot less expensive than some of the ones that I've talked about in the past, I'd say the Membrane Solutions air filter is probably a pretty good way to go. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys, I got a discount code for you. Uh, if you enter the code PRAXIS15, and here is it, it is on the screen, if you want to check it out, uh, you'll get 15% off if you decide to buy this unit. Uh, I don't know how long it's good for. They didn't give me like an expiration date or anything like that, but I told them if I was going to do this video, I want to at least be able to offer you guys some kind of a discount on it so that uh, it would feel like it was worthwhile to put this together for you guys. So that's it. Nothing negative to say about it other than that it probably has more than any of us would ever really want, but the price is really good and it's really effective. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if you want to see a video of me working on a project that really would have benefited from me having an air filter at the time, here's a link over on the side where you can check out something that I was doing where I was wearing a mask, but honestly it would have been really nice to have had one of these units.